And pioneering women have dominated the group of New Zealanders to receive new titles. They come from fields as diverse as fashion, government and Māori affairs. Chris Chang has the latest dames and knights companions. Denise Lestrange Corbet's made a living out of being original and outrageous, but all it took was a letter to get a royal reaction. Shocking, incredible, amazing. Shocking in the most wonderful way, of course. The world designer, one of four new dames, her honour for services to fashion and the community. To be made a dame is bringing me so into the establishment which we were always never a part of and never wanted to be a part of because we thought it was very stuffy. It just proves that you can be left of centre, you can be original and opinionated, you know, and eventually they come round to your way of thinking. The Queen probably won't say that, but I'll say it. Another who bucked the establishment, former Māori Party President Nada Glavish, honoured more than three decades after she won the right to say ora, at the post office. I fought the battle, but it was the country that won the war in terms of the acceptance of our reo uh, at that time. There was intervention by Prime Minister level Muldoon, who said, as far as I'm concerned, she can say Kiora, so long as she don't want to say G'day Blue. Former politician Georgina Tehiohio also recognised for her services to Māori, as is John Clark. The prominent treaty settlement mediator and former teacher made a night for his contributions towards Māori heritage and preservation. You sort of think about your parents, your siblings and so on, and very importantly your wife and children. You think of the, the, the iwi groups, the iwi groups that were there with the treaty settlements and some remarkable people. Former Court of Appeal Judge Douglas White is also knighted, while Annette King is another Cabinet Minister turned Dame Companion. The people I worked with, particularly in health and police, have really made this for me. If I hadn't had those opportunities and worked with those people who give so much, um, I wouldn't be sitting here with an honour today. The former Deputy Leader of the Labour Party spending 10 years as a Minister, now among those getting used to a new title. Dame Dan, I think, will change the name to. Chris Chang, One News.